What's up everybody, it's What Jim, and today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you how to use time codes and what to use them for. So what are YouTube timestamps or time codes? So according to Shootster.com, Google's Key Moments features uses, uses YouTube's timestamps to link to video segments found in the description beneath the video. These, YouTube's, these, these YouTube timestamp links improve user experience by making videos skim able so viewers can quickly easily find and click on the content they need when searching via google or youtube but if you don't really get what that means i'll quickly explain it in my own words so what it means is when you go on a video you get to just select a specific moment for that video for example if i'm doing my top 10 movies video and, and you really want to watch my my favorite movie then do you, then you go ahead and and use the timestamps and time codes to go ahead and get to my favourite movie I was talking about. If you want to know more about it, if you want to know more about time codes and timestamps, then I'm happy to maybe give more examples or give a better ex explanation. Just just let me know in the comment section below if you want to see that, and I'm, I'm happy to give a better explanation on what time codes or timestamps are. For the, for the rest of this video, I'm just going to call them time codes. That's what I call them when I, when I use them on my videos. So for now on this video, we're just going to call them time codes. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to show you how you can make your own time codes to include them in your videos. So here we are on my YouTube channel. So, um, oh look, I've actually got an extra subscriber. That, 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 that's pretty cool. But um, right, so what we're going to go ahead and do is, as you can see, this video hasn't got any time, any time codes yet. But we're going to go ahead and do that now. So how we're going to go ahead and do it is... Um, so we go to edit the video and we're going to go in the description of that video and add the time code. So, um, but I, I usually use it, oh, where is it? I usually use it on YouTube studio. And then what I do is, yeah, um, whoops, hang on one, one thing. Right, let's go, let's do it, let's do it again. So what I'm meant to press is, uh, I'm meant to press this and then go on the description. Right. So what I normally do is normally write in the, the what time codes are going to be using the so we're going to put time codes. This you can put time stamps or uh, quick quick links whatever you want to call them. So intro, which this is a very important part. You don't need to write intro, but you need to put the zero dot dot zero zero seconds in. Otherwise, if you don't include that. The time, the time, the time stamps will work, but it won't show up on the video. I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain a bit more of that in a minute. So, you know, I'll, I'll explain it now. So here is an example of this. As you can see, it says intro, and it also says the good spoilers, and then you've also got, you know, the bad no spoilers here, um, the you know rank of the episodes, the verdict, all all that stuff. It it doesn't show up if you. If you don't include the zero dot dot zero zero, if you do, then they do, do go ahead and show up when you're watching the video. So the so the video we're going to be doing this for is a thread by first thread video. So what I'll go ahead and put is I'll just put song choice one, and then put a hyphen, and then we'll look at what time I actually said the first song for that video. So we'll contain spoilers, I guess, for that video. All right, so here we are. So I need to go ahead and see what, when I mentioned the fifth song, for what the first song for this video. What's up, everybody? Gone with is by the Who video. You you could put yours in order if you want, but I've just got mine in a random order. And right, so fifty nine seconds. So what we'd go ahead and put is for the song choice number one, we'd put zero dot dot don't 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 forget the dot dot and then um 59 seconds there we go so that's that's the song choice number one and we're going to keep doing that until we've done all the song choices so i'll be with you in a sec once i've done all these song choices right so here we are i've done all the time codes for that thread video so i've done it for song choices one to five recap and outro but there is something else i want to tell you about the time codes they have to be each of these segments have to be at least 10 seconds in length for them to actually show up on the video. 
I'm not sure if that's 100% true or not, but I would say it's true, just in case. I remember I watched a video on it, and that's what somebody said, but but I'm pretty sure I did it before, and it was all right for 10 seconds, so it, it it's, it's a risk you're going to have to take, I'm afraid, but we've, we've gone ahead and put all the time codes. Now let's go ahead and see it on the videos. This is what it was like before, so as you can see, no time codes in sight, so... Let's go ahead and see what it looks like after to get out of there. It's very important you press save after you've done all this work. Right, okay. So let's go ahead and see. So what we have to do is have to get out of the video and go back on it. And as you can see, the time codes are there. So you've got intro and then you've got song choice number one, number two. And if you go on the description of it, you can see the time codes are there in the video but also you get to see them as chapters here sometimes you find them so it says auto generated so it means that youtube or google have automatically done the chapters for you but for me i manually did them myself and yeah here, here we are so you can just go ahead and choose one of one of these time codes which takes you straight to there or you can you can go there by just put present so for example song choice two and it takes you uh, yeah, it just takes you out of the video, which is another way of doing that. But that, that's just really, that, that's how you go ahead and do time codes. And if you've got any other questions for time codes, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, I want as many people to use it as possible because I think that this is a brilliant feature that a lot more people should include in their videos. So that's it. So I've shown you what time codes are and how you can go ahead and integrate them in your videos. And what inspired this this idea really was, I was watching a YouTuber called Jason Leo, Leo Millennial. He's probably watching this video now, and hi Jason, if, if, if you're watching this, but he did a video and I said that he should go ahead and include time codes in his videos. But he said that that sounds like a really cool idea, but he didn't know how to do them. So I thought I could go ahead and FaceTime him and explain to him, but I thought if I do it on a video, more people will be able to see how you use time codes. And like I said, I want more people to use them because this is one of my favourite um, features when editing a YouTube video. But that's really what I say here. And hopefully you found this video very, very useful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out and ciao.